Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lucas AI Academy. Today, I will show you how to create 3D screen movement in CapCut PC. CapCut PC is a free and extremely popular video editing application, offering a wide range of powerful features such as video cutting, adding effects, filters, music, and speed adjustments, helping you create impressive videos. If you don't have CapCut yet, you can visit the website capcut.com or click the link I've provided in the comments section to install it. Please note that to use this feature, we need to register for the Pro Package, which is affordable for everyone. Let's get started. Open CapCut on PC and start by adding media to your timeline. After adding the media, click on the Ratio option and set it to 16 to 9. This ratio is suitable for YouTube videos. Next, zoom in a bit or adjust the position. Go to the Effects tab and in the search bar, type Player 3. This will bring up the 3D screen effect that CapCut has recently added. Drag and drop the Player 3 effect onto the media in your timeline. At first, this effect may have a black rectangle around it. Don't worry. We can remove this by setting text to zero and glowing to zero. Once you've added the effect, you'll notice an animation at the start. However, we don't want that. So, we're going to speed it up. Set the speed of the animation to the maximum, which will make it end as quickly as possible. This will help avoid the unwanted animation at the beginning. Create a duplicate of the image now, hold Alt, and drag a copy of the image or video to the side. Make it a little smaller. Place this smaller copy at the beginning of the effect. Make sure this copy covers the entire animation at the beginning. We will remove it later, but for now, it needs to be there. Now let's work with keyframes. Find the point in the timeline where the animation ends and your original image or video starts. Click on the Player 3 effect and at the top, click Add Details keyframe. At this point, you'll want to zoom in a little on the image or video then use Rotate to change the angle to 42 degrees. You can adjust the horizontal and vertical settings to move the image into the right position. For me, I want the first video to be clearly visible and not cut off, so I will adjust it accordingly. Now don't worry about the black edges appearing. We will address that in the following steps. Move forward in the timeline about 3 to 4 seconds. Now change Rotate to 60 degrees and zoom in a little more. Using horizontal, I will move the image to the left side, and with vertical, I will adjust it down slightly. Don't do it too much to keep the animation smooth. Once you're happy with the position, set it as the first keyframe. Select all three elements on the screen and press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. This will group everything together for easier editing. Now, press Ctrl plus B to split the clip and delete the small piece at the beginning. This will remove the unwanted effect we were trying to avoid. Go back to the beginning of the clip and add a transform keyframe. Zoom in on your clip to remove any black gaps that might appear. Next, we want to make some fine adjustments to the effect by adding some subtle movements. Set rotate to negative one to create a more dynamic motion and move forward in the timeline until the animation ends. If you see any black background remaining, Zoom in on the image and adjust the rotation again. We'll add a little creativity to this effect. Let's use a blur effect to focus the viewer's attention on a specific part of the image. Go back to the Effects tab, search for Blur, and drag the effect onto your clip. Zoom it in and go back to the beginning of the clip. Click on Mask, then click Add Mask and choose Reverse. This will apply the mask to the opposite side of the screen. Now. Adjust Feather to 27 to create a smooth transition between the blurred and sharp parts. You can adjust Blur to around 7 to fine-tune the effect. This will help the viewer focus on the left side of the image while the right side remains blurred. And that's it! You've learned how to create a stunning 3D screen effect in CapCut for your videos. With these simple steps, you can add depth and movement to your videos, making them stand out in the crowd. Thank you for watching! I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to Lucas AI Academy for more awesome tutorials like this. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video.